good morning today we will read about ashram and its a location climate drainage system environment flora and fauna wildlife and national park first of all i would like to introduce myself i am dr sunita i have done my phd in geography so today our class will be based on ashram so the first of all we will read about the location of the state located in northeast india between the latitude of 24 degree and 28 degree north and the longitude of 90 degree and 96 degree east and at the south of the eastern himalayas assam or assam has an area of 78440 square kilometer skewed amidst the young mountain in upper and south assam and old mountain in lower assam are the valley of brahmaputra and barak rivers you can see the map of assam this is the capital city dispur it is surrounded by all northeastern state so it's a very important fact you can see in the map it is surrounded by arunachal pradesh in the north nagaland in the east and manipur also in the east mizoram in south tripura also in south meghalaya in south and it is also shared international border between two um, big big two uh, countries in north bhutan and in south and west it is uh, bangladesh it is also sharing boundary with the west bengal so it's a very important it is surrounded by seven indian states it's a great fact the geographically assam is connected to the rest of india by a 29 km land strip in west bengal popularly known as the chicken necks near siliguri you can see this is the chicken necks right the assam shares an international border with bhutan and bangladesh we have already read and now we will see the relief feature of the state it's quite important you can see this is the darker black line is the boundary of assam and you can see the maximum area is covered by the plain and this is the brahmaputra river and you can see the many important cities are located on this bank of on this river like dibrugar then you can again see tezpur then guwahati is also here and dispur then golpara then dhubri and brahmaputra is entering in bangladesh here and it is known as jamuna you know this fact there are some hills in the state that are very important the mikir hills you can see then north kachhar hills then barail range apart from it you this map is also useful for whole north eastern india you can see the location of east garo west garo and jayantia hills then not kachhar then barail range and all and there there are a questions in this uh, section like uh, arrange the hills from west to east or east to west north to south or south to north so you can see the barail range from south to north then not kachhar hills then mikir hills then dapla hills then miri hills there is also a bod hills so these are located in arunachal pradesh so this is very important this is your homework you can see the major hills and uh, uh, plateau and range in northeastern india this is the geographic map of the state you can see the state of assam is comprised of three physical division name, namely the brahmaputra valley the barak valley and the hill range the brahmaputra valley which forms northern part northern part is the largest in size comprising almost 72% of total geographical area of the state on the other hand the barak valley region which forms the southern part this is the barak valley region is compre- comparatively smaller in size the mikir hills plateau this is the mikir hill plateau it is also known as the kardi anglong the north kachhar hills and marginal plateau and hills from the adjoining state makes it 
island so you can see it is uh, i would like to say one more thing uh, you can see it uh, assam is not sharing boundary with the sikkim so it's a very important fact otherwise it is sharing boundary with all northeastern states and west bengal as well so this is exclusive map of relief feature relief feature means it talks about the altitude so you can see this is the index and uh, 3200 is shown by this brown color and there is a 600 gap in between so you can see the karbe hills the height it is between 6 to 12 uh, 1200 meters and the maximum area of the state are covered by the plain means the height is 50 to 150 meters apart from this this is the climate map of the state the climate is subtropical with hot humid summer and severe monsoons in mild, uh, mild winter assam at present consists of two hills district and 21 plain districts so there are total 23 districts in the state from the climatic point of view the year in assam can be broadly divided into two the cold season and the rainy season there are two other short season namely spring and autumn representing the transition between cold and rainy seasons and that between rainy and cold seasons respectively this is the relief pattern rainfall pattern in assam and this annual rainfall pattern you can see this is the dibrugar and uh, there are the other important cities and you can see the maximum rainfall are received in the month of may june july you can see so uh, assam receives maximum rainfall in monsoon season before the drainage we will see the this map it's very important and you can see uh, in, from the exam point of view uh, the brahmaputra river and its uh, left and right tributaries so where it is joining and what is its name you can see it like uh, uh, from the north this is the lohit river then dehing river you can see this is the location of dehing river you can see the subansri in the north you can see ranga river this is here then again lohit river is shown here you can see this side the sang river is this this is the kho river then jangi river jorhat and there are many tributaries so it's exclusive map you can remember and you can remember the name of the tributary from uh, from west to east from west to east this side or north to south or left to right so there are th th four method and you can memorize the thing by four ways right so next will be Assam drainage system Assam is dominated by alluvial plains of the Brahmaputra and Barak apart from its tributary The Brahmaputra is transboundary river Transboundary means it is an international river sharing an international boundary So origin originating in the Chima Yangnang glacier near Mount Kailash in the northern Himalaya at a altitude of 5250 meters above the mean sea level you can see this is the location of the origin place it flows as a yarlang sangpo eastward across tibet yarlang sangpo right the river enters india in arunachal pradesh as siam descending rapidly onto the plains where it is called diyani this is very important fact you can see 
So vaccine produces as Sriyam and descending rapidly onto the plains where it is called Dihan. The same river is known by different names. So there are four names. Sanko, then Shyam, then Dihan, then Brahmaputra and again in Bangladesh it is Jamuna. So they are fifth name of the same river. So it flows from about 35 kilometers to meet the rivers Dibang and Lohi. From this point of confluence, the river becomes wider up to 10 kilometers in width and is called Brahmaputra, right? Again, we will discuss about the drainage of the state. Uh, after following 918 kilometer in India, the river enters Bangladesh as Meghana and before completing its journey into the Bay of Bengal. The total length of the Brahmaputra is around 2900 kilometers. So you can see, out of 2900 kilometers, only 918 kilometers in India. Its length is 918 kilometers in India. This is the uh, location of the river. You can see, the Brahmaputra has 120 tributaries and distributaries. That makes the Assam Brahmaputra Valley fertile. The magnitude of the Brahmaputra river system can be understood from the fact that it carries one third of the entire surface water in the country. This very important fact it carries one third of the water system of the country. It has both been in land for the Assam plains. The river has been sustaining a multiplicity of ethnic entities since prehistoric times. This is the location of Mausoleum Island and its area is given here. This is the largest island, river island in the world. Again, we will read about the drainage system of the state. Along with its tributaries, it contributes to the fertility of the soil and promotes the agriculture, trade, culture and development of Assam, besides crafting its landscape. However, every year floods due to the swelling of the Brahmaputra and its tributaries inflict damage to the state economy. You can see the river. This is the Manas River. And this is the Brahmaputra, this is Kokli river, it's a left hand side tributary. You can see this is the Barak river and on Barak river there is a famous dam, its a name is Tipai Mok. It is shown in this map, this is the Loktak lake. Then you can see the Meghana and the old Brahmaputra river and later on it will enter in Bangladesh. However, the every year floods due to, we have already discussed it, the Barak originated at the Baral Range. It's a very important fact. The origin place of the Barak River is Baral Range, south of Kohima at an altitude of 2,995 meters above the main sea level and flows through a south of the river bifurcates into Surma and Kusiara near the Assam Bangladesh border. This river flows through Bangladesh and join an old channel of Brahmaputra from the Meghana. You can see it is facts in the map. Now we will read about the forest of the state. According to State Forest Report 2019, the five national parks and 18 wildlife sanctuaries constituted the protected area network of the state, discovering 4.87, almost 5% of its geographical area. So this is the uh, forest map of the state. You can see through the legend, the very dense forest is shown by deep green, green color. So you can see this is a deep green color. It's a Himalaya region, right? Then moderate dense forest. So this Karvilam uh, and uh, Armageddon Hills, Barail Range, all these are covered by the moderate dense forest, then open forest, then scrub, scrub which are very few and 
Adash, you can also see uh, this uh, table. It shows that the total area, geographical area of the state, out of it, 36% are covered with the forest. According to state forest report 2019, it's also very important fact. Only 36% area are covered with forest. Out of it, 3.56% are covered with the very dense forest, 13% with the moderate dense forest, and 19% open forest. And scrub is very few, 0.22. So that's why it is not visible in this map. Very few. Wildlife. The Kaziranga is the home of endangered Indian one horned rhinoceros, the state animal of Assam. It's a very important fact. The rhinoceros is the state animal of the state. The state is also habitat for the numerous other endangered and threatened species, including wild, white winged wood dog, or duna. The state bird Bengal, Bengal florican, black crested <coughs> parrot wheel, Bengal tiger, Asian elephant, pygmy hawk, wild water. Buffalo, Indian hog deer, golden, lambur, ga <coughs> Ganges river dolphin and many others are found in the state. So there are very important facts in this these lines like Gange, uh, dolphin is also found in the state. The state bird Bengal florican, the name is like this. So these are the very important and you have to remember this. The state has the largest population of wild water buffalo in the world. So this is also an important fact about the state. And it's a very rich in biodiversity, flora and fauna. This is the wildlife protected area map of the state. You can see the first one is showing the Dibru Siokoa National Park. So this is the national park, right? Then Kajiranga National Park. So this is the location of the Kajiranga National Park, right? It is situated along the Brahmaputra River. Then Manas National Park. So you can see this is the Manas National Park. It's very near to Himalaya foothills. Then Namri Tiger Reserve, you can see four, right? Then Orange National Park. It is shown by five, so you can see, find out in the map, the five, right? This is the five, right? So again, Barai Wildlife Sanctuary, seven. So it is, this is the Barai, because Barai range is situated here. So these, you can also see that the maximum National Park and Wildlife Sanctuaries are situated in Brahmaputra Valley. And only one, seven, the Barai Wildlife Sanctuary is situated in this Barak River region. So, the other wildlife sanctuary and national park is given here. Its name and location as well as area. So, it's a homework of yours. You can see the see and uh, see this map and find out the which one is the highest, largest. Uh, wildlife sanctuary or national park in the state and which one is the smallest one on the basis of area you can see so this is the smallest one right it's a Dipar Vil wildlife sanctuary it's shown by 12 right so uh, this is your homework and you can uh, find out this fact this is again a map of famous national park and wildlife sanctuary and difference between the previous map and this map is there is also a district boundary which is given here so it's a quite important and the river is also shown in this map so you can see the manas wildlife sanctuary is situated here and this is the brumputa river along the river there is lakhoa wildlife sanctuary kajiranga national park Kajiranga National Park is situated in south, southern part, a southern bank of the river. So it's an important fact. 
and you have to see this map this way right orang national park is situated or not bank of the river so there should be a questions ki kaziranga is situated on north bank of the river or the at the south south part of the river so hulang you can see this uh, gibbon wildlife sanctuary dibrus your hoa national park again you can see it is situated on southern part at the left hand so it's a very important and you can this is your homework you can also find out many facts and figure like kaziranga national park is situated in which district again dibrus or seokhoa national park is situated in which district so these are the your homework so and uh, like manas wildlife sanctuary is situated in are sharing two two three districts and more so you can <coughs> apart from national park there is the best known being the dio diopur bil bird sanctuary a ramsar site under guwahati's municipal limits so you can see there is a ramsar site in the state and its name means this and it's uh, very near to uh, guwahati city this is the state bird of the assam the assam has many as 51 forest types and sub types and species diversity is spectacular of the state the holong the tallest tree of assam and also the state tree is the most predominant constituent of this forest this is the image of the tree state tree the associated species are the bolpat and jutali and others you can see in assam as many as 293 species of orchids are reported the kopao is the state flower this is the image of <coughs> it and the recently established kaziranga national park orchid and biodiversity park boasts of more than 500 of the estimated itna orchid 